Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, brothers. Hello, sisters in Christ. I hope that you all are well, fantastic, blessed in the Lord. I hope that you all have had a good week so far. I'm happy to see you guys. I'm honored to be your sister in Christ. And I thank you all for coming to hear what thus say of the Lord in this moment in time. So this is not going to be a long message, guys. It's not even going to be for every person that hears it. It's very specific. It's a direct word, almost to a point to where God is narrowing this thing down to just a woman of God. But he's not saying that it can't be for a man of God. So I can't say just the woman of God, even though I feel strongly in my spirit that this is for a woman of God, but God is saying woman of God or man of God, okay? This word is for, and I got to tell you guys, this is something that has actually been in my spirit for a few months, I mean months out, because of the things that God allows for me to see, some of the things that I witnessed, some of the things that I, I observed, this message has kind of been stirring up in my spirit, and I know that this is something that is happening in the lives of people on a daily basis, but for some reason, it is especially strong. It is especially heavy, heavy, heavy in the spiritual realm, and God wants to get us to a place of healing. He wants to get us to a place of being freed from what we are presently dealing with in our lives. So before we get into the word, people of God, let's go ahead and pray, dear Heavenly Father. Dear Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we come to you humbly and hungry for the word of God. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for waking us up out of our beds today, giving us an opportunity to have a relationship with our family, to be able to see our family members. We thank you, Lord, for providing for us a place to stay, a, a, a place to sleep, food, okay, and clothes. And Father God, just making those provisions that we need to survive on a daily basis. We thank you, Lord, for protecting our families, our spouses, our children, our loved ones. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God, that you are our source. You are the Alpha, the Omega, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Father, we thank you that you love us more than we love our own selves. And Father God, you take the time to walk with us and talk with us each and every single day, minute by minute, hour by hour. We thank you, Lord God, that you send your angels to protect us. You send your angels to witness to us. You keep us protected as long as we are in your presence. Father God, not my will, but yours. I ask, Lord God, that you only use me to speak what is on your heart and not my own. Father God, I just thank you for being with us. We ask that your anointing be bestowed upon us as the saints. Open up our hearts and minds to receive this word, to receive what it is that you have for us in this hour so we can take these things and utilize it, take the word and utilize it and to, to embed it in our hearts so that we can do what you have called us to do so we can remain in obedience to your will for our lives father god we just give you all the glory honor and praise in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth we pray amen so people of god this is going to be a very short message and the reason is because this this message is very direct and like i said earlier i feel strongly that this is for a woman of god but it can also be for a man of god when i say cancel the agreement cancel the contract i'm not talking about a marriage this is not about marriages so god is saying that your silence is serious your silence is serious and you're going to need to cancel the agreement that you have made cancel the agreement that you have made with the enemy cancel the contract that you have made with the enemy cancel the connection cancel okay that bondage that stronghold that is currently on your life right now because you are deciding to stay in silence god is saying that you are giving the enemy free access to sabotage everything that God has given you. You're giving the enemy free reign to come against your gifts, to come against your anointing, to come against your ministry, to come against your family, to come against the favor that God has bestowed upon your life over a period of days, months, and years, and everything else that God has given you. You're giving the enemy free reign 
to completely sabotage that. There is a child of God that is watching this video and God is saying that you need to open up your mouth. He's saying he's asked you to open up your mouth that you've been avoiding speaking out about a certain situation. You've been avoiding speaking out about a certain circumstance because you are afraid of what the outcome is going to be. You're afraid of how people are going to see you after you say what you say. You're afraid that you're going to lose something if you say what you say. And so as a result of you being afraid of what you think you're going to lose by speaking out concerning that situation or that circumstance, right? You will not do what God has called you to do, even though the Lord has been consistently convicting your spirit about what you need to do, about what changes you need to make, about what you need to say. Hallelujah. The Lord is even saying these questions I hear. He says, ask my beloved, do they not see the signs of my displeasure? Do they not see that they are already losing what they are so afraid to lose? Do they not see that their situation is not changing? Do they see that their circumstance is getting worse rather than better? Hallelujah. And God is saying that you keep blaming the enemy for your warfare. You keep saying the devil is trying to do this and the devil is doing that. And God is saying that it is not the devil coming for you on that level. God is saying that the reason why you're dealing with the warfare that you're going through in your life right now is because you will not change. Jesus, you will not accept your part. You will not face the situation for what it truly is. You will not obey God. And you will not do what God has told you to do. He specifically has spoken to you about this. And God is saying that he loves you, child of God. He loves you beyond measure. But he's also saying that he is not a respecter of one person. Why? Because he loves all of his children. He loves all of his beloved the same. And he says, beloved you are going to have to endure your test. You are going to have to endure your trial. You are going to have to go through your tribulation so you can overcome what you are presently dealing with right now. God is saying that he has given you every single thing that you need. He says that you are equipped. You have the ability and his grace is sufficient in your life to see you through this situation, okay? So he says, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid of speaking out. Do not be afraid of confessing. Do not be afraid of making the change, making the shift, doing what he told you to do. Because he says, it will not be until you do that is when you will be freed from the warfare that you're dealing with right now. God says that you have to break the contract of silence. You have to open up your mouth. You have to speak. And God is saying that he knows, beloved, that it will not be easy. But he says that you will have to say it. You're going to have to do it. You're going to have to push it. You're going to have to walk it to be free. And he says he's not going to lie to you. After you do what he has commanded you to do, there will be residue. There will be tension. There will be a time of healing that will need to take place. Time will need to pass for stuff to go away and to clean itself up. But he says, ultimately, you will be free. Jesus, he says, you will be free. And so God is saying, beloved, woman of God, man of God, you are going to have to cancel the contract of silence.
You're going to have to pull yourself out of this bondage, out of this stronghold that you have been fighting with by confessing it, by repenting from it. And he says it will be then that you will begin to see restoration in your sleep, restoration in your body, restoration in your energy, hallelujah, restoration in your business, restoration in your ministry, restoration in your family, restoration as a whole in your life, okay? God is saying that you have to confess. You have to recognize it. You have to face it. You have to say it. Okay, you have to choose it. You have to push for it. You got to do what God has told you to do, child of God, so that you can be freed from what you are presently dealing with in your life. God is saying that your silence is serious. It is so serious that if you do not break your silence, okay, and do what God told you to do, cancel the contract cancel the agreement, cancel the connection, the free reign that you've given the enemy to your life, it's going to get worse. It's not going to get better. God is not going to pull you out of something that he knows that he has called you, that you are capable of. He has equipped you to get yourself out of. Do you hear me, child of God? This is important. If you want to stop feeling like you feel, if you want to stop going through what you're going through, if you want to stop going through this warfare, this tug of war that you've been dealing with for the last few months, you must obey, obey God, okay? So you can be free. Hallelujah. So that is the word for today, people of God. Remember to test the spirit. I have a video in the description box that will teach you how to confirm those words that you hear from the servant of the Lord and to wait on God and to make sure that this is something that is applicable to your life, okay? Remember, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus' holy name. I thank you all for subscribing and becoming members of Shanika Byers United for Christ. And if it is the Lord's will, I will be back here sometime soon to serve you. God bless you. And I just love, love, love you guys. Bye.